Hubert, food and trust. Right now, you have some of the largest clients in the United States. We were talking about JBS and Cargill, for instance. Can you tell us how those contracts are going for TrustBix? Um, absolutely. In terms of uh, Cargill, we had worked with them to create the uh, very first certified sustainable beef supply chain in Canada. And our contract with them has um, evolved into being a uh, innovation partner with them. In other words, what's next? Now that we've created this uh, the amazing supply chain with their, their customers like McDonald's, Loblaws, and, and so forth, is what is the next step? Um, and so we're very excited to do that one. Uh, JBS, the uh, largest pr uh, protein processor in the planet, and um, for them is that they're getting into the uh, sustainable beef uh, supply chain as well. They don't. They want to do it their way. They don't want to be followers of uh, Cargill. So they've created their own way to market it. Um, and we understand that the rest of the organization is watching what's happening in Canada. And so we are very excited to be working with JBS and continue to help them grow their business. Uh, the relationship with JBS is, is very unique for us because it's the first time we get to work with a, a company of that nature where they are uh, showing us their sales pipeline and then asking us you know, how we could help them uh, close certain deals and, and so forth. Uh, and that relationship is, is very, very close knit. Uh, and we are going to you know, continue to look forward, <clears throat> excuse me, continue to look forward to uh, working with them uh, in, in the years to come. Okay. And in addition to some of these very well-known names, you also have developed long-standing relationships with some of the biggest players in China. Is that correct? We have. And uh, so, especially in the pork industry. So if you look at the top 10 uh, pork processors in China, some of them are the largest in the world. Uh, they use our pork grading system, we call it the probe, uh, the, our probe systems to grade the quality of their carcasses. And what's very critical about what, what we do for them is that it determines the price between the buyer and the seller of the, uh, the pork carcass. So the, you know, we've asked them before, why is it important uh, and, and why do you continue to use us? And uh, their, their answer is you're the trusted brand. And if we change you out, it's really going to affect the speed of commerce for us. All right. Now, of course, we had our investor talk. Stephen Lawton, our publisher, asked you a very good question. I think he identified that you are having a delay in some revenues from this pork supplier due to the pork issue in China. Is that correct? Absolutely. With ASF uh, decimating such a large population of the uh, uh, pork uh, or, or pigs, I guess, uh, pigs and hogs uh, in China, the there is a delay in opening up new processing plants in China. So we've got the orders, we've got the interest, but uh, and, and some of them are, well, actually many of them are existing customers. So we know we're going to get those, uh, get, get that business. But right now, is there, the population is so small over there, they've decided to delay uh, opening up those new plants, and that hence delayed our projections of revenue for, uh, for the pork probes. In addition to all of this, you touched on uh, a share earnout, 20 million uh, sh of shares uh, with an earnout uh, mm -hmm. that could possibly provide you with some additional capital for the company. Can you give us an update on this? Absolutely. The, uh, that's for the Insight acquisition that we announced earlier this year. Uh, and as part of that is that there's a 20 million share earnout uh, for, for the Insight shareholders. And the terms of that is to get the full million, they, uh, sorry, to get the full uh, 20 million shares, they have to have a million dollars in revenue with a uh, target profit of at minimum 300,000. Uh, it is a uh, 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 staggered. So at 500,000 with the same ratio and then 750,000 and then a million. Um, so what we are anticipating that uh, by, you know, before the end of March next year, that there's a very good chance that uh, working with the inside team, uh, they'll hit, we'll all hit the target. They get the earn out and we get the revenue of at least a million dollars and uh, $300,000 in profit. Well, Hubert, I'll tell you, I'm a big fan of trust specs. 
your business model. You're coming to Toronto, I understand, for the investor talk for September 15th. Is there anything else we should be on the lookout for in this upcoming quarter or two? Tracy, that's a great question. Our focus right now is, is sales and business development. Um, the idea there is that with uh, the announcement of the BICS impact and BICS origin in place, plus the insight uh, acquisition is complete, really our focus is to grow that revenue and those opportunities for us. Well, as always, Hubert, what a pleasure. Thank you so much. And everybody out there, for more information, go to the Trust BICS website. Thank you, Hubert. Thank you, Tracy.